donut pop socket, dried flowers on your phone case, a case made out of fuse beads, and a phone harness? Watch our new video to learn interesting phone case ideas for guys and gals. Jessica and Ben came over to Christy's place. The door mysteriously swings open on its own. Looks like nobody's home. Where's Christy? Suddenly, the phone rings from the table. Oh, here's Christy. She video called her friends to invite them to participate in her treasure hunt. The first hint is hidden on the back of the phone. They turn over the case. That's right, there's a cute puppy looking at them. Cover a clear case with acrylic whitewash. Paint over it with pink. Cut the paws off an applique of a puppy. Glue the face onto the case. Mark a pocket on a foam rubber sheet. Cut it out. Use a pencil to make a seam along the perimeter. Glue the pocket onto the case and glue the puppy paws on top. Jessica can't resist the cute puppy. But Ben remembers the treasure hunt. The puppy's hiding a hint in its pocket. Let's see. It says under the pillow. But which one? There are a lot of them. While they're messing around with the pillows, they accidentally hit Christy. She shouldn't have peeked out of her hiding place. Finally, they find a hidden treasure under the last pillow. Each one gets a personalized case for their phone. Pour water onto a big plate and drip in some black and white nail polish. Use a toothpick to make marbled swirls. Lower a clear phone case to the surface of the nail polish and carefully remove the phone case with a marbled pattern. Let it dry. Secure the design with clear nail polish. Ben got an elegant and minimalist marbled phone case to match his sweater. And Jessica got a case with fuse beads on it. It's as bright and fun as she is. Lay out fuse beads. Be sure to fit the size of your phone case. Cover the mosaic with thermal paper and iron it in circular motions for 10 seconds on medium heat with no steam. Repeat for the back. Use multi-purpose glue to attach the finished mosaic onto the case. Ben and Jessica are thrilled with these unexpected gifts. They quickly put their new cases onto their phones. But wait, there's more! They can hear strange noises coming from the kitchen. It's Christy loudly preparing the next task for her quest. She hides as fast as she can. The game continues. The pals head for the kitchen. My goodness, it looks like there was a war to free carbs. Let's split up and look for her. We've looked in every nook and cranny. It seems like Jessica knows where their friend might be hiding. To distract Jessica, Christy quickly puts a phone case in her hands. Coat a case with light blue acrylic paint. Make a flat waffle cup out of light clay. Attach it to the case. Use a ruler to make diamond-shaped grooves. Make ice cream out of hot glue. Color it with acrylic paint and coat it with clear nail polish. Then add colorful sprinkles on top. Instead of finding her friend, Jessica found an ice cream case. How lucky that this candy lover came to the kitchen. Now she'll sound so sweet when she talks on the phone. Ben's upset that he didn't get a new case too. Open your eyes, buddy. Here it is, howling at the moon. Cut a thin strip of wood into pieces according to the width of a phone case. Glue them onto the case. Paint them with wood stain. Lay a round stencil of a wolf. Paint it black. Finish the drawing with a marker. Ben loves his cool new case. 
It's obviously a manly case for a strong lone wolf. Jessica sees the next hint on the fridge. We need to find some books. They can see a case with a harness right there on the bookshelf. Cut four long strips and a piece shaped like a rounded X out of a blue foam rubber sheet. Work two and a half rings onto one strip. Glue the edges. Make two pieces like that. Attach the strips to the edges of the X. Glue on some buttons. Poke openings with an awl and attach two clips. Color a phone case light blue. Hot glue two rings on the edges and attach a ring base in the middle. Cover the glue with paint. Clip the carabiners to the case's rings. The friends refuse to share the case. Jessica wants it, but Ben insists this masculine case is for him. Ben hides with the case like some kind of jungle animal. How unfair! Ben tries on the case. Now he looks like Secret Agent 4G LTE. Jessica's upset. She really doesn't get her own case, but there's a surprise for her in this book. Put dried lavender and other small flowers in a clear case. Cover them with clear nail polish. Let the polish dry. Inside this French novel, Jessica found a case straight out of Provence. This delicate case with lavender flowers reminds her of spring. They're both so happy with their gifts. But Christy wants to bring some drama to this phone case paradise. She's determined to make her friends argue. But that won't be easy. Where is Christy hiding? She must be somewhere here. Let's try and follow the sound of the phone and find her. The ringtone's coming from nearby. Just a minute. And here's Christy. What was she doing behind the couch? Ben and Jess figured out Christy's treasure hunt. So she just hands them their next set of new cases. Mark two circles on cardboard. Divide two rectangles into squares. Cut out all the shapes and a strip. Bend the rectangles following the square lines and cut. Gently wet the strip and glue it along the edge of the circle. Glue the rectangles to make a 3D figure and attach it into the circular paper cap. Attach the second circle on the other side. Color everything with white paint. Glue a picture of a donut on top. Prime a case with white acrylic paint. Then paint it yellow and glue on the pop socket. Jessica got a cute pink donut. Oh, it's actually a pop socket. And Ben got something new to wear. A case with a belt. Whitewash a case. Then coat it with silver acrylic paint and glue on a part of a thin belt with a buckle. Both of them are so happy. Jessica has a whole collection of bright and sweet feminine cases. She can open a tech gallery now. Thank you, Christy. You're a real friend. Christy's happy she managed to pull off her treasure hunt. She loves giving her friends presents. And she has one last surprise for Ben. A cosmic and understated manly phone case. Coat a phone case with acrylic whitewash and then paint it black. Use a compass to draw a circle. Trace it with a white pen. Draw Saturn's rings and draw dots to be stars around the planet. Correct the picture with black paint. Ben really likes this stylish Saturn phone case. I feel out of this world levels of cool. Chrissy gave her friends so many gifts today. We need to thank her properly. Ben will make the best phone case ever for his friend. Pour glitter into clear capsules. Hot glue the capsules onto a case. Ben's been gone for so long. 
Christy got bored and redid all her errands. Yeah, this really is a long-awaited gift. Looks like Ben is completely overwhelmed by the creative process. Finally, he comes back with his gift and brings out a phone case blister pack with happy pills to put Christy in a good mood. She really likes her gift. Thanks, Ben. This is the perfect cure for boredom. Did you like our phone case ideas? Then let us know in the comments about which style you liked better, masculine or feminine. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new ideas for your phone from Troom Troom.